Well, that was completely using an iPhone and iPad, which is a mobile platform. Hi, I'm Yad and this is Filmography. Like everybody know, that is the effect from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The tutorial for this effect actually already been done by a lot of YouTubers. But like I always say, everything using Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro, which is in our show, we will try to recreate the same effect using mobile platform. That what we have achieved here by using only iPhone to shoot and iPad to edit. But this time we use a different app, which is a light motion. This app is free to download. So for the filming, if you see, I have a wand which is this wand. Okay, this is the wand. Okay, let me show you. Okay, this is the eldest wand. Uh, I got this wand actually from uh, Universal Studio when I was in Japan. I used this as my prop. You can use a wand like this if you have, or you maybe can use your DIY uh, wand to achieve this effect. Okay. And then for the camera gear, it's a very simple. I use this is my set. Okay, I use a Yulanji uh, camera rig for mobile. Okay, this is how it looks. And I use this light, uh, Yulanji light. Okay, I can turn on and turn off. Uh, I use this light on this rig to achieve that lighting effect when you see in the video when I cast the spell the light is turned on so i use this i hold my my rig like this and then i on a light and off like this so you able to control the light by yourself uh, this rig and this method actually has been done because of i'm the only one who filming the video so if let's say you already have a crew of course it'll be easier for you to ask your friend to control the light in another direction so that's all for the filming part which is very simple and let's go to the editing part so fire up a light motion app in your device you can use tab or smartphone since this app is available for both platform in my case i'll be using my ipad pro once you open the app press the plus button to create a project select your preferred resolution frame rate and background i'm using 4k for resolution 24 fps for frame rate and black color for my background then press create project press the media icon in the left and add the magic one clip then on top of this clip add the lens flare footage i got this lens flare from storyblock.com since i have a subscription with them if you want you also can subscribe and get all these type of asset you need so back to a light motion select the lens flare clip then press blending and opacity Go to Lighten drop down menu and select Linear Dodge. This will remove the black color on the lens flare clip. Then press Move and Transform button to scale the lens flare according to the main clip. Once you're happy with the size, tap anywhere here to unselect the lens flare clip. Now zoom in the whole video so that you can do the motion tracking much easier. For this video, the tip of the wand used as tracking marker. Next, Select the lens flare clip, then press move and transform. Use the control pad in the left bottom to move the lens flare to the tip of the wand. Press the keyframe button to add the first keyframe. You just need to press one time since the next following keyframe will be added automatically. Adjust the position of the lens flare to the tracking marker for every single frame to get the best result. It might take some time but you will enjoy the final result after you adjust the position of the lens flare for all the frame press the graph button below the keyframe select ease in and ease out for the keyframe so that the motion of the lens flare smooth and realistic apply this to all the keyframe that you created by copy and paste to all keyframe now play the video you just finished and you will be able to see the best motion tracking like Adobe After Effects in mobile platform. Lastly, add your favorite color grading and sound effect and finish it up with a magic spell. 
Lumos. Now, that's how you do a motion tracking using only mobile platform but the result is like Adobe After Effect. Like I always say, there will be always a way to replicate the effect using a mobile platform. Since nowadays mobile technology is equally powerful with the PC. So that's all for today. If you want to see more about special effect in mobile platform, Click this video to watch more video. I'll see you in that video. Until then, I'm Yad and this is Filmography. Remember, simple method, awesome video.